Purdue's reigning national champion Blue Goldberg Machine Team is returning to Columbus, Ohio to defend its crown after winning the regional competition in West Lafayette, Indiana. We pushed the boundary with the number of steps. The maximum was 75 and we got up to 72 steps. So we were really close and tried to make sure we didn't cross over. The Purdue Society of Professional Engineers team holds the world record with a machine that included over 300 steps to accomplish a simple everyday task. This year, new rules encouraged fewer steps and a look more like Rube Goldberg's cartoons. So, PSPE built a machine depicting a typical day in Goldberg's life. So we tried to really focus on like what would look cool to audiences that wouldn't require too much like nitpicking and making things more complicated. Captain Jordan Vallejo says the team invested several hundred hours building this machine. They began planning almost immediately after winning the 2014 crown with the first machine ever to put a person in the machine. We don't try to reuse old steps. We try to break the bounds, do things that haven't been done before, use things that aren't meant to do what they're supposed to do, and repurpose items. PSPE may have the only machine that accomplishes two tasks. The original assigned task of shining shoes and also erasing a chalkboard, which the competition belatedly adopted as the new task. We're going to try and fix the little errors that went wrong today, see if we can improve on them, make them work better flawlessly, because we spent so many hours working on this. We want to have a perfect run. We get to learn from our mistakes and build something even better next time. A lot of like things you learn in textbooks, you never really get to apply until you have a job, but being on this team you get to work with everyday materials and actually understand the difference between ideal situations and real life situations. PSBE may have already faced its toughest competition. The Purdue Association of Mechanical and Electrical Technologists from Purdue's College of Technology finished in second place and also earned a berth at Nationals with a haunted classroom that uses ectoplasmic slime similar to Ghostbusters to erase the chalkboard. At Purdue University, I'm Jim Shank.